Welcome. We're still in workshop number one, and we're on the page where it talks about employer preferences when looking for a new hire. I think this is one of the best charts that uh, you can see because it gives you an idea of how passport to employment works and what we're trying to uh, accomplish with each one of our people and understand what the normal person is doing versus what a passport to employment person is doing in their interview and their job search. And as you can see in work pref the employer's preferences, on the left side is in order of preference, what they'd like to do is what the employee is looking for, what they're, what they're looking for in a job. And the first thing you can say is, see is resumes. And I can, I'm going to guess a lot of the times when you ask someone, a friend, a family member, whatever, they told, tell them that you lost your job, they're going to say, oh, do you have a resume? That's the most logical thing that, should, that will pop up in a person's head. So that's in the order of preference. You can see that resumes, ads, agencies, uh, colleagues, referrals, and it goes all the way down to the inside of the, uh, inside the company to get a position. If you look in the right side on the right column, it's an order of preference for what the employer is looking for, not what the employee, how he does it. What the employer wants is to find somebody as quickly as possible. Now, at the same time, they want to make sure that they're hiring somebody that the more they know, the better comfort level they're going to have in hiring that person. And as you can see, for the employer, where do they go first? Inside the company. As a hiring manager for a number of years in the insurance industry, that's the first thing that I did when I was looking for a, a new person. I'd call, I'd look around my staff, first of all, and see if there was anybody that was uh, that would be promotable. If that didn't happen, then I'd come. I'd call everybody in and just ask, do you have anybody that you know that's looking for a job? I used the example one time, one of my uh, employees that I'd worked with for a long time, we had a job opening. I don't remember if it was uh, to fill a new vacancy or it was a new position, but it didn't matter. And the, so I got them together and said, hey, we get that we're going to be able to hire somebody if you know anybody please let me know or are my uh, supervisor in, the, in at the office well guess what when I were talking one of the my employees came up and said oh I just got an email from my aunt down in Evansville and her son her cousin the uh, work my employees cousin was going to be getting let go and we were going to and they were looking for a job we had that individual come up as fast as we can and get me a resume. I want to know more. You know this person. You're willing to, to, to vouch for them, I guess. Maybe they don't know their work history, but they at least know who they are and have some contact with them. So we would normally, as a, as a rule, I'm never going to go to Evansville to in, for interviews or even to, to find somebody uh, to fill a vacancy. Why? It's too far. I'd have to, and the same thing if it's if somebody from Cincinnati, I'm usually not going to do that as a regular rule because I don't want to have to pay for somebody to either for me to go down or someone to go to Evansville, do the interviewing, get them back, or have that person come up. Then they got to pay hotel rooms, meals, mileage, and then the, the thought process would be, well, will you help me uh, with my expenses when I move up? None of which I was really willing to do in most cases not every case so anyway that is how the employer looks I want to find somebody as fast as I can so the next thing I do is colleagues I'd ask other people that within the organ my organization if they had anybody they thought that would be a good fit for our new for our new opening second of all would be ref referrals um, and and referrals can come and I, I used to refer go to different you know, I was in the insurance insurance company side and so I had a lot of dealings with a lot of good agents throughout the state and then particularly Indianapolis so I wouldn't be afraid to call one of them and say hey do you have anybody from another company that you're working with that's uh, knocking the cover off the ball easy to work with and somebody that you would re recommend they would inevitably say oh you may want to call so uh, John Doe over at Cincinnati down at Cincinnati and see if they're opening so that was one of the other ways. Why? Because I know I'm getting a good verification of somebody. And you can see all the way down, drop in with proof. 
uh, I use an example of my my son, and he was uh, at that time was in high school. It was time for him to get the fir his first job. He wasn't very happy about it, but the fact was it was time. And so we said, well, why don't you go to different car dealers and see if they need anybody to do any detailing, that type of thing. So he did. And you know, one of the places he went to was Pinsky Honda over on 96th Street. And so he walked in and asked the uh, receptionist uh, if they had any opens. And she said, well, I'm not aware of anything right now, but give me your name and your, your phone number. And if anything pops up, then we have an opportunity to call you. So he did that. It was driving down the road. It wasn't, he wasn't even down two miles. Uh, probably two or three blocks when he got a phone call from Pinsky Honda calling him back. Why? Because they were able to evaluate him, how he presented himself, and if it was somebody that Pinsky Honda would want to have on their staff. He got the job, and he worked there for two or three years, if not a little longer, uh, in the summers and during uh, uh, breaks from school. So that's just an example of what you might be able to do as an as a, an interviewee trying to get in. Now you can see, then we go with agencies is at the bottom, where agencies is at the top, or one of the top three, when you look at what the employee thinks. Why don't employers want to go, hiring managers want to go to an agency? Because they cost money. They're going to have to pay, and they pay big things, usually a year's salary or something in that neighborhood, whatever the percentage is. Same thing with ads. What happens? I've got to pay for that ad, and I have the very little likelihood of screening the individual. I'm just going to get people from coming from all over the uh, United States for that. And finally, what's the last thing that's on the list? The first thing that an employee thinks is I need to get my resume to people. But if you look for an employer, that resume is the last thing they want. Why? because they don't have any connection with any of these individuals or very little. I want to know as, as much as possible about an individual. I'll use an example of a lady that was in our workshop uh, a couple of years ago and she came in and she was just fuming and mad and I said well what's the matter and she goes well I came in second on a job and I was smarter I had more experience da -da -da, all these great things I said well who'd they hire well, they hired somebody from within the organization. I can tell you right now that if an, an employer uh, has the opportunity to hire somebody from somebody inside the company versus somebody that they really don't know, they're going to pick the person from the inside. Why? Because they can easily get the resume uh, or get references from uh, the employees, uh, other employees from the employer, wherever it is. So it's much better to have somebody inside. I'm, going to, I'm always probably going to be safer hiring from inside versus um, somebody from uh, just coming off of a resume or downloaded a resume and they just pop up. So again, this is very critical because you want to do what the employers do. That's what we're teaching here. Not what, you other, what your uh, other people do. We want to differentiate everything we do from what other people will do. You don't want to be, as I always say, you don't want to be in the high stack. You want to be in the short stack. The short stack's the people that the employer, hiring manager, HR, whoever is going to, to hire. So anyway, I think it's a very important slide for you to uh, review in your uh, workshop.